What's going on, everybody? How you doing? It's uh, Duke with No Need for Love Songs. I'm just talking about some things that I'm going to be uh, discussing in the book. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was um, taking the time to really heal. Why it's so critical to take the time to really heal. Mainly because um, when you get in a relationship, each person, that, especially if you're a committed person, You'll give yourself so much, you give so much of yourself, and uh, give up so much. This is time we're talking about. You you give so much of yourself to someone, and then uh, when it, things don't work out, if you don't take time to heal, the next relationship that you get in will pay the price for the, the time you didn't take, and it'll cost you another relationship and another, and again, it just becomes like a snowball effect where you end up broken and alone. And the reason why is because you never took the time to just heal and say, hey, you know, I don't, I'm not going to be in a relationship right out of another relationship. Because you're, you're probably your most dangerous right after you got out of a relationship. Right after you got out of a relationship is probably when you're your most dangerous because you can hurt people. You don't mean you can, you know, uh, make people think you, you, you want to be with them when you really don't. You know, you're on the rebound and you don't want to do that. You don't want to be, because uh, you know, a lot of people get hurt in that situation. Um, always be honest with where you, what you're really aiming for. If you're just saying, hey, I want somebody to hang out with, then let that be known. Uh, but you're probably your most dangerous, right, coming right out of a relationship. Um, the other thing is, you know, uh, I do want to say, because I know a lot of people struggle with this. You know, um, being alone. You know, I'm single, and uh, you know, it, it's difficult to be alone. And the reason why is because you you see other people with their happy relationships and this and that. But you got to remember, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Now, hopefully, people are having happy relationships and things like that. But uh, never compare your situation to other people's situation because you don't know what's going on. You don't really realistically know what's going on. So never compare your situation to other people's situation. Um, the, the other reality about being on the rebound is you have this heightened reality, you know, this heightened, this heightened hope that everything's going to be all right. Or, you know, and sometimes some people will just not want to feel the difficulty uh, of being alone, so they try to cover up that 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 fear of being alone. They try to cover it up with just anybody and wanting to be with anybody. So you know, certain things in life don't try to avoid. Like if you're if you're single, don't try to avoid being single. Just embrace it. You know, like okay, boy, well, hey, you know, I'm 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 single. You know, this is my situation. You know, I'm with with me. I'm able to discover more about life, more about myself, uh, and and uh, it feels good to connect and to to really just be in tune with life itself and to be in tune with um, you know a peace and you know and all that stuff. Um, and then that, and that, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying being a single person. I'm enjoying you know um, just enjoying life right now. But when you're on the rebound and you don't give yourself that chance to just enjoy life and to heal properly, all you're going to do is, is trample over somebody's life. That's all you're going to do. It's a guarantee. All you're going to do is trample over somebody's life. Now, um, I was in love with someone before. I was in love one time uh, in my entire life. I've only really been in love once, you know, um, and... The truth of the matter is, you know, um, you can fall in love with a memory, you can fall in love with an idea, but you, if you don't take the time to properly develop a relationship, it's, it's all going to fall apart. You know, it, it's all going to fall apart because that's, that's what happens when you don't take time to do things the right way. It always falls apart. One way or another, you're going to have to take the time. Matter of fact, if you didn't take time to make sure the relationship started off right, if you save that relationship, if you're going to save that relationship, 
it's going to be because you took the time to save it and fix what could have been taken care of here. You, you know, if save it could have been taken care of here, but you don't, and you try to have a relationship, now you're going to have to take care of it when it gets here. But nevertheless, it gets taken care of, but you don't have to put yourself through the heartache. Um, but try your best not to date on the rebound because it, it, uh, it hurts a lot of people. It, it causes a lot of problems. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it really messes people up. You know what I mean? So just don't put others at risk. Value yourself enough not to, to, to put yourself out there like that. If you're on the rebound, just take that time to go ahead and heal because um, that's what's best for everybody.